The previous modules indicated how to convert between decimal, base 10 numbers, and numbers with any arbitrary base. Now, binary, base 2, is particularly important to computer science, but there are two other number systems which are also important, octal, which is base 8, and hexadecimal, which is base 16. These are important because 8 and 16 are also powers of 2, which makes these number systems ideal for representing binary numbers in compact form, as we shall soon see. Now notice that I've written out the first 16 numbers in each of these number systems. Of particular interest is the hexadecimal system, which has a base of 16, and therefore has to start using letters from 10 to 15 to represent digits. Octal, or base 8, should not come as any surprise. It starts at 0, counts down to 7, and then repeats starting at 0 in the 1's column using a 1 in the 8's column corresponding to 1 times 8 raised to the 1. Now, because 8 is equal to 2 raised to the 3, each octal digit can be represented using exactly three binary digits. And that is shown by this transition here. Each of the possible octal digits takes three binary digits if you pad the left of each of the numbers that have fewer than three binary digits. Similarly, 16 is equal to 2 to the fourth. Therefore, each hexadecimal digit can be represented using exactly four binary digits, or bits. And if I pad these binary numbers with a zero on the left, you can see this correspondence. This makes it very easy to convert between either of these number systems and binary. For example, if I have the number 3756 in base 8, this is an octal number, and I want to know what its binary representation is. Well, I can simply take each digit on its own and convert it to a three-digit binary number. So 6 here corresponds to the three-digit binary number 110. Before I'll write that there. 5 corresponds to the three-digit binary number 101. 7 corresponds to the three-digit binary number 111. And 3 corresponds to the three-digit binary number 011. Now, this number is the binary equivalent, so base 2, of this base 8 number. Now, of course, in any number system, extra zeros on the left-hand side of a number don't contribute anything and can be eliminated. But in the conversion process, it is easy to uh, include them for the sake of clarity. Similarly, we can go from a binary number, such as 10010111101, so this is a base 2 binary number, we can convert it to octal by breaking it up into groups of three. We start from the right, that's a group of three, that's a group of three, that's a group of three, and if we pad this with extra zeros, that is also a group of three. Now we can look at these groups of three bits, find the corresponding entries here, five, 
three, one, and one, and realize that this binary number is equivalent to one, one, three, five in base eight. Conversion to and from hexadecimal is similar, but uses groups of four bits. For example, the hex number 6A3C5 in base 16 can be converted to binary by treating each of these digits as four bits, keeping in mind that these letters are simply placeholders for numbers that, in decimal at least, cannot be represented using only one digit. So 5 is the 4-bit sequence, 0, 1, 0, 1. C, seen here, is the 4-bit sequence, 1, 1, 0, 0. Three is the four bit sequence zero zero one one. A is the four bit sequence one zero one zero, seen right there. And six is the four bit sequence zero one one zero. Now, once again, we can eliminate any padding zeros on the right-hand side of the rightmost number. And this is the binary or base two equivalent of this hexadecimal number. To finish, let's convert a binary number to hexadecimal. One, 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 zero, one, zero, one, zero, one in base 2. In order to convert to hexadecimal, I break this into groups of 4 bits, starting from the right. So those are 4 bits. That's 4 more bits. And then this final one is padded with zeros to get a group of 4 bits. Then I simply convert each of these groups of four bits into the corresponding hex value. This is five. This is D. And this is one. And this is in base 16 or hexadecimal. So this is the hexadecimal equivalent of this binary number. Hopefully you can see that hexadecimal provides a clear and direct mapping to binary numbers that is, however, much more compact. This is why it is often used in computer science.